So guys, before we get into the video, if you want any cheap and reliable coins, make sure you go to fifacoin.com and use ADAPT at checkout for 5% off your order. They're extremely quick and extremely reliable, so let's get into the video. What's up guys, my name is ADAPT and welcome back to another video on my channel. So guys, we have another squad builder today. So if you like these videos, make sure you smash the like button. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a video guys. So this is a team of future icons. Um, my controller isn't really working at the moment guys, so I can't really um, bring you guys any gameplay. So I thought you guys might enjoy this video. Um, so we are going to be going through some of the future icons I believe that will be in FIFA. Like some of these players in this squad have had absolutely legendary careers and I'll be surprised if at least Half of the people don't get an icon card in the near future, whatever they'll be called, um, legends, icons, whatever EA are planning to call them, but for next FIFA they're called icons. So first up, you guys can see on the screen right now, we have Ike Casillas. Now he had an amazing, amazing career at Real Madrid. He was a beast keeper and he played so many games, so many international appearances. For Spain he's won quite a lot and he's just an absolute beast in real life guys everyone remembers him um, he used to be Real Madrid's number one he's gone and gone to Porto and I think he'll be retiring in a couple of years some of these players have quite a few years in them but when they retire I'm sure they will have a strong claim to getting a icon card so Casillas for his absolute beast like beast years in Real Madrid and his absolutely amazing performances in the Spanish national team. Now in the right back position, we have Dani Alves. Now who doesn't remember how great he was at Barcelona? Um, he went to Juventus and now he's at PSG. He's won the Champions League. He's won a lot, guys. Um, I haven't really got the stats right up here right now. But you guys know that some most of these players in the squad have at least won something big in their career. And Dani Alves has won the Champions League. He's won the Liga um, Santander now. Back then it was called Liga BBVA. But he's pretty much won a lot with Barcelona. And what you'll see in this squad builder is a lot of this team is going to be dominated by Barcelona players currently or former Barcelona players. And we are going into the centre-back position with PK now him and the player next to him they had an absolutely actually not a player next to him him and Paul Yo they had an amazing partnership at the back who remembers guys um, that Barcelona team a couple of years back was legendary Thierry Henry PK Paul Yo Xavi Iniesta that team was just like ridiculous guys and P that's why PK is in this squad. He's even like fucking shit up right now at the moment um, at Barcelona. And he's just a great player, guys. He's had an amazing career. He's pretty much won the Champions League. He's won, he's won pretty much everything in that league. Now, the centre-back next to him, Ramos, another main player in the Spanish lineup, Also a starter. In um, Real Madrid and probably one of the best centre-backs right now in the world alongside PK. Ramos is having his amazing career at Real Madrid right now. And PK is having an amazing career right now at Barcelona. So that's why Ramos is in the squad. He's won a lot as well. He's won the Champions League. He's won so much. And I'm sure he will get an icon card in the future. Now in the left-back position... This is controversial, I'm an Arsenal fan myself, he did kind of do us dirty by going to Chelsea um, after he was at Arsenal but you can't deny the guy has talent. In that Invincible squad he was an absolute beast and it's just a shame that he went and went to Chelsea but he's a great player just because he's done certain things and made certain decisions it doesn't take away how good of a player he actually is. Did the Invincible season with Arsenal, 
won Premier League after Premier League. Um, I think he's won the Champions League. I don't even know, but he's won a lot, guys. And now in the centre mid position, we have Iniesta. Now this guy has been in the game for a very, very long time. And he's still killing it at the moment. He's got a team of the year card right now. And he's still playing great. And he's 30 something years old guys. He's been playing for a very long time. He was in the squad with Xavi. He was in the squad with PK and Puyo. I um, can't remember who they had in goal back then. Um, I think it was... They even had Eric Abidal. If you guys remember him, um, smash the like button. Tell me in the comment section down below if you guys remember him. But he was a great player as well. And Iniesta was in that Barcelona squad. That very strong Barcelona squad. Which I don't think we'll find... Um, a squad to that caliber in the near future it will have to take something very very special that squad that and the invincible squad um, the Brazilian squad back then a couple of years ago um, some of the best squads we have ever seen in football history now next to him in the center mid position we have Pirlo um, this guy's an absolute legend. He's won everything. He's been everywhere. He's been to Juve. I can't even think of all the other clubs, but he's been to a lot of clubs, guys. And he's been very loyal, I think. Um, he's also, he's just a living legend, guys. You know, seeing him, he wasn't the quickest player, but he'll be able to thread balls in. Um, everyone remembers him for that cheeky penalty against Joe Hart where he chipped it down the middle um, he's just an absolute beast he's so calm he's so composed he's so experienced on the pitch if you guys see him um, he's just on another planet guys now we have Steven Gerrard um, what an absolute legend he's got the 94 rated card at the moment so does the Lampard who I have in the squad as well but he's been an absolute legend at Liverpool He's won the Champions League, but he's just been an absolute beast. He's just revolu um, revolutionised um, Premier League football, and he's been one of them players, um, one of them main English icons, which has been in the game for so long. You guys will see um, a few other players which have been in the England squad, in this squad builder as well. Now, in the right wing position, we're playing this... Um, team in the 4-3-3-4 formation and um, this is the layout I kind of picked but we've got Dirk Cow. now another beast at Liverpool there's been a lot of Liverpool legends and I'm sure he'll get a future icon um, he also got a 90 rated card 90 rated right, um, right wing card that looks absolutely incredible um, he played a massive role in playing in the Netherlands, I think they won the Euros, I'm not sure, I think Netherlands won the Euros, I might be wrong about that, but I'm sure he was in that squad, and he's been around like for a very long time, I'm sure he will get a legend card, and in striker we have Fernando Torres, he's been to Chelsea, he's been to Liverpool, he's been a bit controversial, he's now at Atletico Madrid, but nobody can deny this guy's quality, He's had a few times in his career where he's just had some rough patches, not been playing his best. But when he's in his prime, he is absolutely unstoppable. Everyone remembers his um, just amazing performances at Liverpool. That time where everything he touched literally turned to gold. And he's doing a good job at Atletico Madrid as well. Now... We are getting on to our left wing. We have Frank Lampard right here, another English legend. Um, there's nothing much to say about him, but he's the Steven Gerrard of Chelsea. Both of them have just been absolute beasts in football. Now getting on to our subs bench, we have Buffon. Now he's been at Juve for pretty much his whole career, I think. He's just been so loyal. He's just been a great keeper. He still is a great keeper, guys. Um, managing to maintain that 88 goalkeeper card uh, you know so long in his career he's been playing football it's just absolutely incredible the stuff he's been able to do um, unfortunately he couldn't win the Champions League but he's won the Calcio R he's won several other things 
with Juve and he's been with Juve through thick and thin that's why I think he deserves a legend card now we have Wayne Rooney been to Everton been to Manchester United now he's back at Everton um, I think he's gonna be there till the end of his career probably gonna go to the Chinese League in a couple of years or whatever but he's been an absolute beast for his career um, he's done some iffy things in the past but on the pitch um, nobody can deny his work ethic um, he wasn't the quickest of players but god he had a shot on him guys he was just so good um, everyone remembers that overhead kick he scored against Manchester City that was just an absolutely unbelievable bicycle kick um, he's known for scoring his goals against Arsenal as well which is why I kind of dislike him a bit but I can't I have to give him credit where it's due he was a great player he still is a great player and I'm excited to see how he will do in um, at Everton and I will be excited to see if he gets a future icon um, in the future I think he should guys he deserves it now we're getting on to Didier Drogba now how many goals did he score against Arsenal it's absolutely ridiculous but he is a legend he'd like he just revolutionized football at Chelsea it was just like every time I'd put on an Arsenal game Arsenal versus Chelsea he'll be that guy who scored like he'd just be that guy and in the Champions League he was a beast um He's just done everything, guys. Now he's at, I believe he's at Montreal Impact in the MLS. But I'm sure in the near future, he will get an icon card with Buffon. Now we have Samuel Eto, Barcelona legend, um, known for his Champions League goal against Arsenal in the final. I just remember these players. These players give me nightmares, man. Um, these are the players who literally, like... Have just ruined Arsenal's life in the past. But I have to give it to him. He is a great player. He's at the Super League now. But when he was at Barcelona. I don't know how he's doing at the moment. But he's getting kind of old now. For a football career. Um, he should be retiring in a couple of years time. So he's living out his um, few last couple of years in football. In the Super League. But... He's done a lot at Barcelona and him and Henri when they were playing together, Messi as well, that team, like I can't even begin to comprehend how great that team was. Now we've got Ibrahimovic, now he's been to Manchester United, well he's at Manchester United right now, actually I think he got released guys, but he was at Manchester United, he's been to Juve I believe, he's been to Inter Milan, he's been to Barcelona. And he's won it everywhere. And he's still, he's still getting a team of the season card in this game. He just gets better with age. He's just an absolute legend on the pitch and off the pitch. Just what a guy. And I'm sure he is going to be a major, major icon in the future in FIFA. I'm just so excited, guys. This is the future of football. These are the players who are going to be have legend cards in the future. Um, them white cards we're playing with now, uh, for example, Zola, um, Weyar, um, Hullet, players like that. We're going to see Zlatan Ibrahimovic have a legend card, hopefully. We're going to see Ika Casillas have a, um, a white card. It's just going to be absolutely crazy, guys. Now, we have Bastian Schweinsteiger. Um, it's a shame, guys. At Bayern Munich, he had an absolutely incredible um, career. But when he went to Man U, um, for one season, he was decent. But he just didn't get played, guys. He didn't get played enough. But now he's at Chicago Fire. It's just a shame. His career went a bit shit. But when he was at Bayern, he was an absolute beast. With Robin, with players like that, he was in that beast squad. And Bayern... They've still got a B squad right now, but he was in that squad before. Um, he's just an absolute god, guys. Now, it, um, the last player in this squad is Totti. Now, he's got a 96 rated centre forward card, I believe. He isn't the quickest of players, but god, he was a legend, guys. 1976 he was born in. He's been playing football for so long, but I think he's retired now, guys. 
So, he deserves an icon card, definitely. I believe every single player in this squad has a chance of getting an icon card. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, smash the subscribe button, leave a comment, um, press the bell, do all of that stuff, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.